In this video, we'll calculate the parabola in Eclipse using Java. Okay, so on the screen, we still have the formula here, right? Uh, let's review this. So this, the black line here is the, and the black point here are our problem line and point. Our target is find out the target, the answer point here. So it has the same distance to this point and uh, the line. So using Pythagorean theorem, we can calculate, we, can, we have this um, equation, y plus h squared equals x squared plus y squared. So this is y, this is y. So uh, eventually we get the formula y given an x, we, we can calculate y like that. Okay, so now let's go to Eclipse. Here, uh, in our previous, uh, the last video, we draw, we mark, right? We plot all the answer points uh, one by one uh, manually. Yeah, let's give, uh, yeah, it's like that. We draw a lot of circles and uh, parallel lines, right? Parallel lines. So, and we collect those on the point by clicking the on the screen. So today we'll calculate without uh, those supporting circles and uh, parallel lines. Okay, so let's close that. The create we always create a new project project so care q late parabola next finish yeah we don't create that we'll create our package Go down dot golden ladder dot mm, bra, bra, finish and uh, new class bra, bra. This is our entry main method and uh, we'll create a JFrame quickly frame equals new JFrame with a title yeah what's the title um calculate parabola demo okay demo so we can set size, yes, um, 600, yeah, 600 by 600. And uh, dot set visible true, let's see, save and uh, run, yeah. It pops up. Now, let's continue to create a proper panel, canvas panel, canvas panel, finish. So it has to extend, oh no, it has to. This is our way to start drawing. Um, Let's hide, silent this annoying uh, warning. So we need to override paint the component. This one, and get it all right, get rid of that. And we all, we need graphic 2D program. Gra Graphics 2D, so G2, following our naming convention. We 
cast this G to this one. So we'll draw, yeah, the line here, problem line and the point there. Let's do it quickly. So G2 dot set stroke, new basic stroke with width. Put three here and uh, shift enter and uh, G2 dot set color black color black yes and uh, g2 dot draw line okay so 100 and uh, 500 we'll use so this one 500 yeah 500 and uh, okay let's see haha <laughs> We need to add this guy here. Frame dot add component new canvas panel. Yes. Now. Nah. Yes. Cool. Now let's add the dot. So. Hey, let's create a function or method to fill an, a circle, okay? We already fill circle, so graphic 2D, G2 here. This is our circle center, okay? Center X, center Y, and uh, radius sure now we'll delegate the job to g2 okay fill oval yes um x this guy oh center y but we need this one minus radius minus radius and the radius radius no nope. two times that two times radius that's the size of the um the rectangle we provide for fill oval okay let's give it a try g no uh fill circle g2 yes so this one will put the, the dot here so it's 300 what did i type 300 and what is y uh 300 y is five no 400 radius mm, three but that's Mm. Yeah, black color. Okay, let's see. Yeah, little dot. Is it too small? Uh, maybe. So let's use five here. Okay, now we need to start our calculation. Try to get the first answer point out somewhere here so what is our h x and y okay so um, before we continue let's set our color to red because those are our answer points so um i and t h is 100 that's the yeah this this distance h so x we can set an x let's set and the x equal to let's let's start from 80 not a bad idea 
And uh, what about y? Y, okay, y equals x times x x squared minus, what is that? Oh, okay, minus h squared, h times h divided by 2 times h, right? Yes. So now we need to calculate the real uh, x, x, y coordinates in our in our panel. So um, this is an answer x equals three hundred, right? Plus this x. This is three hundred here. 300 plus x and y is y is no the y of this one the actual answer y of this point is this guy the y of the black line minus h minus y yeah so answer y equals quick that one is this minus h minus y now we have answer x and the answer y we can fill mm -hmm. fill circle g2 answer x answer y radius ah radius okay so if x ray no i was confused okay so this this is answer y answer y radius is the okay we let's use a small let's use a four for the dot let's see mm. yeah save and run yeah it it looks promising right this distance is same as that one okay so now let's extend this result using a for loop mm -hmm. so those are constants oh yeah starting from here we can write our four let's draw seven point don't be too aggressive okay now Highlight that, option, up arrow key, move it, yeah. And uh, command, I'm using an Apple computer, so the shortcut key is like that. Let's check, seven of them. What happened? Oh, we haven't introduced the I, so X will be 80. So every time we increase by 10, okay? So it means we start from 80. Yeah, so this is 80. From here to here, 80, 90, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, okay? Very good. So we can increase this, right? Let's see. Now we have 27 answer points. Wow. It doesn't matter. And we don't need to start from 80. Maybe we can from 10. Can we? Sure. Why not? pretty good what about zero okay let's try from zero and uh, don't forget we oh yeah we can still add more answer points like 28 29 what about this one
any bigger number, okay? It's good. What about the other half, the left half? We can add another field, right? But wait a minute. Can we just do something like that? I hope it work. I hope it works. Yes. Hmm. So it seems to me it's not balanced for left and right. Hmm. Let's be fair to the right. Very good. That's it for the day. See you next time.